Hello and welcome to my show, Indus Cuisine. I'm your chef Basim. Welcome back with another new episode and a new recipe from the heart of Pakistan. Today's recipe is very easy and it dates back to the Mojdar civilization. Everyone knows that the Mojdar civilization is one of the oldest human civilizations on planet Earth, or as we call it, our home the world. This civilization was found in the regions of Sindh and it was found back in the day when the East India Company or one can also say the Britishers were ruling the subcontinent. It's one of the oldest civilizations and one of the most civilized you could say civilization in terms of sanitation and in terms of culinary expertise. Why? Because if uh, you go and see the museum in Mohenjo-daro you can see that there are remains of the old pottery that was discovered or excavated from those sites back in the day. Back in the day people mostly used butter which was derived from milk as everyone knows or yogurt and this recipe is a yogurt based recipe and it's very easy. Throughout Pakistan it is consumed, it is enjoyed but every region has its own version but the base curry is the same which uses a lot of yogurt but the difference is wherever you have different kinds of vegetables for example in the region of Punjab there's a lot of spinach grown so people will add spinach to it and in Sin there's a lot of onions and potatoes used so they'll use a lot of potatoes in this but the recipe I'm making today is the modern version of the curry in which we will be using fritters and also we call fritters pakoras. This recipe is easy as you can see I've made like one, two and three parts. Why? Because this recipe will be made in three different segments. The first part is we shall make uh, the pakoras. Why? Because I want to fry the ingredients. I want to make the fritters and once the fritters are done I'll let them rest on the side and what do you need for the fritters first? Or we could say let's give you a rundown of all the ingredients. So you need some baking soda, some cumin seeds, salt around a quarter teaspoon, oil for frying, gram flour, some onion and that's about it. That will be your fritter batter. Then you need yogurt, you need bay leaf, you need just around a tablespoon or two of gram flour, salt, one teaspoon of red chilli flakes and you need turmeric. This will be the curry. Now you need to start tempering it towards the end. You can see a lot of ingredients over here. These are all the ingredients will be uh, which will uh, go in the tempering process of this recipe. You will be using dried red chilli, then you will be using around two to three cloves of garlic, which I'll finely slice so that I can fry and I can add it on top. Then you'll use some fenugreek seeds, some mustard seeds, cumin seeds, ginger I will grate, and then just around four tablespoons of oil. That is it. With that, we shall add a few green chilies chopped into it, and that is about it. So now we shall start the recipe, but first of all, what you need to do is you need to bring the pan to heat and then add oil to it. So once the pan comes to heat, I'll add the oil so that the oil is ready for frying. Okay, now firstly what you need is you need onions. So what I'll do is I shall finally slice these. Keep it as close as you can. The root is out. This is done. Push it on the side. Clean your blade and once again. So I finally sliced it. Now what I'll do is I'll just pass my knife around five to six times. Why? Because I want the onion to have its strands but not finely chopped. Okay, this is done. Bring a bowl, put it over here. I'll use a medium sized bowl. Now first what you'll do is, you shall make the batter. Okay, for the batter you need to add some oil also, remember that. So, first we'll add the onions. So once the onions are in, we shall add the salt. Why will I add the salt first? Because I want the salt to bring out the moisture. Small things take you a long way. You know, our grandmothers tell us, you need to put this first and that later but they do not give you the reason behind it why because traditionally they've been doing it but there's a reason behind everything as there's a method to every madness in this world okay so now what I'll do is I'll just mix it up you can see the pan has come to heat so I'll add oil for frying reduce the heat to medium and now add the baking soda just a quarter teaspoon that is it 
Keep the rest on the side. Mix it up. I'll add some more oil to this because it depends what's the size of the wok or the frying pan you're using. Keep mixing it so that the onion doesn't stick together. This is done. I'm multitasking as you can see. Now add the cumin. Mix it up. Once that's done, we need to add some coriander leaves. Okay, so right now I've always told you that the flavor is in the sticks, but in every recipe you do not add the sticks. So as you can see, the root is over here. I've washed it properly. I tried buying something with the root on. You'll take the root off, but you'll still use the stems. So fold it, bring it close, as close as you can, and finely, finely chop it. I want the sticks, why? Because when I'll fry it, it will get really soft and the flavor will come out. This is done. Clean the blade of the knife, pick it up and toss it in. This is done. Now we'll add the gram flour. and we'll start mixing it first. I'm going to dry mix it first so that the gram flour sticks to all the vegetables. And once you can see the moisture is out, what I'll do is I'll start adding a little bit of water. For that, what I'll do is I'll pick up the jug, I'll transfer the water in a remkin, keep it on the side, and slowly and gradually, start pouring it in. Not too much, because if you add too much of water, what will happen is, it will get really, really mushy and you do not want that. So always add less water and very slowly. You need to add water till the time you can see this dry gram flour on the bottom sticking to the whole batter. So you want the whole dry part to come together and then you have something like this. So add just a little more, not too much. So what I'm doing is I'm adding a tablespoon at a time, not too much. This is done. You can see the oil has come to heat. Now what I'll do is I'll fry them. So I'll make small portions out of this. You need to use your hands and the portions are going to be added to it. But before that, you need to wash your hands properly and grease your fingers. Okay, now what you need to do is grease your hands first, apply some oil, pass it through your fingers, and just make small fritters. The first one goes in, keep it close and do not let them stick with each other. Always dip your hand in and make these small balls. When they'll fry, they'll automatically stick together so you don't have to worry about it. At least an inch between each piece. Why? Because you don't want it to stick together at all. You have to fry it on medium heat for two minutes each side, remember that. So as you can see, I've given it two minutes. So till the time this is frying, what we'll do is we'll prepare for the next part. So what you need to do is you need to make a gravy out of it, the next part. So what I'll do is I'll shift this over here on the other stove, bring this back to the pilot and we'll prepare all the other ingredients. Okay, so what do you need? First, you need to add some oil and then you should bring it to boil. So what I'll do is I'll make the gravy in a straight pan and then I shall increase it by shifting it to another wok later on once I'm done with the spices. Okay, so the ingredients now what you need is red chili flakes, turmeric, salt to taste, gram flour and then you need two bay leaves. Okay, dried bay leaves if you find fresh ones you could use that also if you don't find those you could also substitute it with dried basil or fresh basil but as you know that basil leaves are smaller so just use two or three do not try substituting it with like five six basil leaves why because the flavor would go 
a bit off track. Always keep your eye on this. I'm going to sh uh, change the side. Why? Because I just want it to be light brown. I don't want to overcook it. As you can see, it's light brown. Now, some people prefer it very dark. But remember, as I've told you, when the color of the onion changes, when it gets too dark, the flavor also goes towards the bitter side. And I like my uh, curry to be nice and velvety and delicious and not too bitter. Okay, this is done. Now, I'll give it another minute and I'll dish this out. Okay, firstly, what you need is you need around two tablespoons of oil. The pan has come to heat. I'll put it back on pilot. So, let's add a tablespoon of oil. Take around one garlic and just a bit of ginger. I'll just take around a very small piece. And as you can see, the, the fritters are done. I'll dish it out first. Okay, so whenever you're dishing it out, Try using a chef fork. And remember, do not overcook them. I'll show you the final look once I'm done dishing it out. Okay, I'll keep this over here momentarily. Put it back on pilot. Take this here. And as you can see, the fritters are done. Okay, now you need one clove of garlic. Finally, chop it. Always clean your blade and mix it again. Add this to the pan. And you want to shred the ginger. Okay, finally shred it. I'm using a really less ginger. Why? Because I want to give just a hint of it in the whole curry, not too much. Shake it up and add it over here. I'm going to saute this for around one minute on really low heat. Until the time I'm doing that, you can go for a break and once we're back from the break, I'll tell you what to do. Keep watching in this cuisine. Welcome back. You're watching Indus Cuisine. I'm your chef, Basim Akhund. Uh, during the break, I just waited for you and I actually put everything on hold. Okay, now as you can see, we're done with the fritters. I'll keep it over here in front of you. That has come to boil. I'll just take an onion and I'll finally chop it. Okay, I'm just taking half an onion. You can see the root on. Get it really close. Pass your knife once more and finally chop it as close as you can go keep your eye on the onion whenever you're chopping make eye contact this is done that's the root which goes in the dustbin slide the onion off pick it up and transfer it here increase the heat Add just a pinch of salt and let it sweat. Mix it up. I'll give it a lid and let it cook for 30 seconds. Once I've sweat this properly, then I'll do something else. But before that, what you need to do is you need to dilute the yogurt with some water. So what I'll do is I'll add a cup of water. Mix it up in the desi way. Desi means the Pakistani cultural way. Spin it around, and this is done. Keep this on the side. The onion is nice and translucent. Now reduce the heat to the pilot, and firstly, add the red chilli flakes. I want the red chilli flakes to fry right now with the onion. Why? Because it will bring out the flavor. It's all about the flavor for this recipe. I'm mixing it continuously. And this is done. As you can see, the red chilli flakes were really red and now they're a little less in colour. Why? Because I've roasted them or you could say 
cook them with a little bit of oil to bring out the flavor. Okay, now we'll add the turmeric and two bay leaves. Now you'd be thinking that there's not much oil over here. Why? Because the curry is not oil based, this one. Just mix it up on high heat. Bring it close, bring it together and add the yogurt. Now I'll reduce the heat to medium first. Slowly add it and start mixing it. It smells really good. Keep it back on the board and now you'll add the gram flour in some yogurt which is mixed with water. So I'll add it over here, I'll dilute it and then I shall put it here. If you directly put it over here, what will happen is when gram flour mixes with something hot or any form of flour mixes with something hot, it will start to curdle together and you will get a very weird texture of uh, this flour or something which is uncooked when you're eating it. So always add it in the cold liquid you have. Keep it on the side, take a spatula, mix it up. Keep mixing it properly. And now bring this to boil first. It's almost piping hot. I'll take the spatula, put it on the side too because I don't need it anymore. And slowly add this over here. Now you'll see this will come together. And this is done. Keep this on the side. Rinse your hands once. This is done. And just shake it a bit. Once this is done, what you need is, now you need to clean up and add salt to taste. I'll add around a quarter teaspoon, not too much. and then the remaining turmeric. So we're not using any form of food color, we're using turmeric and we're getting the color out of that. As you can see, it's come to boil. Reduce the heat to pile it and give it a lid. You need around one green chili. This is also called the German green chili in Pakistan. Take the stem off, put it on the side and we shall de-seeded. What does de-seeding mean? Take out the seeds from inside. For that, I'll take my paring knife and slowly cut through the edges and just rub it like this. The spice level or the thing that burns your mouth, you could say, is in the seeds of the green chilies, not the skin. So now what I want is I want to really finely slice this And I should add this in the curry so that I get this nice aroma. Shake it up a bit and this is done. So now the curry is done. I just added the green chilies in it and I'm going to put it on the side to let it rest. You don't want to overcook it, the flavor starts going all over the place. Okay, the last part is tempering. Tempering I've showed you before but tempering has a very old history which dates back to the Mughal Emperor. Akbar. Everyone knows Akbar was one of the most famous emperors back in the day and he was famous why? Because he married Jodha Bai who was a Hindu lady from the Rajasthani Empire back in the day. Okay, so after he married her, he one day finally decided that he wanted to be a vegan. Vegan resulted him in keeping him away from all the meat dishes. Now, as you know that the Mughal Empire, also known as the Mongols back in the day, were mainly nomads. They used to go conquer places and they used to marry people, but they never used to marry out of their religion. This was the first time. So when he married a Hindu lady back in the day, what happened was that he started enjoying all the non-meat dishes. And that's the time when he became a vegan and 
when he became a vegan, obviously he was used to the extra flavor, the extra punch that used to come from the meat dishes. So he told his chefs uh, or the royal chefs of the royal kitchens back in the day that you need to find a way of increasing the flavor of all these vegan dishes and tempering basically came into being like this. Okay, so now for tempering what you need is you need a fresh pan, add around let's say five tablespoons of oil, I'll add the oil in it and whenever you temper your food you need to remember that the food needs to be hot and the oil needs to be piping hot just off the stove. Okay, first what you need is you need garlic. For tempering when you use garlic you need to finely slice it. So I'll use my paring knife for this. Try keeping all the pieces equal. Why? Because once the onion is equal, it will bring you this perfect harmony of flavors when you're biting on it. If it's too thick, it's going to, you can say, bring the flavors down of the recipe or the other flavors will be dominated. The oil has come to heat over here. And then I'll first brown the garlic a bit. Okay, when I'm saying browning the garlic, it doesn't mean you need to take it to dark brown. It needs to be really, really light brown. Why? Because that is the way the flavor will come out. Okay, so I'll add the garlic first. The garlic goes in. And now you need ginger, but just around one teaspoon shredded. Okay, so shred the ginger. And that is about it. Keep it on the side. Shake it. Move this. And transfer all this into the oil. So we shall fry both of these things properly and then we shall add all the other ingredients. Mix it up. And now add the dried red chilies. The dried red chilies will be added whole. Do not break them down. If you break them down, what will happen is they shall lose uh, all the flavor and that flavor is basically loads of spice and it's going to transfer in your food and you don't want that. We'll take one green chili, add it over here and tilt the pan. Why? Because you do not need half a cup of oil, one cup of oil. This thing can be done in only four to five tablespoons. So just deep fry the green chili and why am I deep frying the green chili without any cuts? The reason is that the skin has the flavor and when the green chili will be fried in this the flavor shall actually transfer into the oil and eventually into the food and once you're frying it turn it around also so that the other side of the green chili gets a chance to fry as you can see it's frying keep shaking it and this is almost done all the other ingredients go in reduce the heat to the pilot add the cumin seeds then add the mustard seeds and in the end, the fenugreek seeds. This is done. Now what I'll do is I'll dish it out and I'll pour it on the food. As you can see, today's recipe is done. I just tempered the food for you. You could see it in the shot. It looked beautiful and it will taste beautiful for sure. And remember, this recipe will always be taken with boiled rice, not with any form of bread. But if you're trying to avoid rice, then you could use bread. But otherwise, the tradition is curry goes with rice. I hope you liked today's recipe. I'll see you in another episode. Take care of yourself, lovely people. Bye-bye.